Do you keep getting killed in battle? Do your men hate you because they're starving and unpaid? Do you not satisfy your wife in bed? Well then fear no longer, for I am here to lead you to greatness. Well, kinda. Here's five things I wish I knew before playing Bannerlord. After two years of beta and an eternity of development, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord has finally seen its full release. Now, this game can be pretty complicated and there's a lot of stuff hidden from first time players. This leads me to number one, the encyclopedia. It's surprising to me how many people don't actually know about the encyclopedia in Bannerlord. It's kind of hidden. In fact, I don't think the game ever actually tells you how to use it, or that it's even there. This will be your go-to hub throughout most of your playthroughs. It's where you'll find information about basically everything. You can find information about your kingdom, see a list of every wanderer in the game, and it even tells you the last known location of every character. Find great companions for each skill and make sure you assign them a role. Companions are extremely valuable in Bannerlord, and making sure you get the right ones for the job is critical. Scouts help you spot enemies, engineers help you build siege equipment, and so forth. If you have dying enabled, make sure you protect these guys at all costs. There's nothing worse than leveling a companion up for 40 in-game days and having them die in the midst of battle. You can find companions in town taverns, and if you're looking for a specific person, use the encyclopedia to search them up and see where their last known location was. Look at their relevant skill level and their name, and make sure you navigate to assign them to a role, otherwise they'll just sit there doing nothing. You can trade in castles and villages before voting for who feasts will go to. If you are in the running, this should increase your chances of success. This has saved me many times by trading in some castle that I don't want right in the heart of enemy territory and getting a town that I just captured. The game never actually tells you that you can do this, but it's extremely underrated. Always make a save before doing this, however, as sometimes your kingdom may just want to give the town or castle to another member of the kingdom for some reason, uh, leading you to giving up your property and really just seeing nothing in return. The way the game kind of goes about handing out fiefs is that it looks at what you already have and then it looks at what you've done to capture that you know, said fief in question. And basically if you trade in one of your existing uh, pieces of land back to the kingdom, then it kind of bumps you up in the next running for the next available uh, fief because you now own less property and you should own more because of your contributions to the kingdom. Number four, prepare before you start your own kingdom. Bannerlord is easy, until it's not. You can go about the game in a multitude of ways during the early to mid levels of the game, but once you really start getting into the heart of what Bannerlord is about, which is making your own kingdom, it's a whole different ballpark. Make sure you prepare before you just spawn a kingdom on the borders of five other kingdoms. They will come for you, and they will kill you. Start with a better strategical position, so there aren't enemies surrounding all of your borders. Also, save up as much gold as possible, I really can't stress this enough. I don't recommend anyone to start their own kingdom until they have a minimum of 500k gold, but honestly, if it's your first time playing, it's closer to the million dollar mark. Now last but certainly not least, number five, remember to enjoy the game. Now I'm not trying to sound corny or cheesy here at all guys, but it's easy to fall into the trap of min-maxing everything. 
But Bannerlord doesn't have to be played in the most efficient way possible. Choose a race and a culture, give your character an epic backstory, and enjoy the unpredictable yet amazing journey that awaits you. Don't take the game too seriously, and don't be afraid of chucking yourself into things head first. If your character gets taken prisoner, don't start a new playthrough. Use it as an arc in your character's journey to build upon and see where the game takes you. Who knows? It just might be beautiful. Now, if you made it this far, guys, then thank you for watching, and I hope you managed to take something of value from this video. Uh, with the full release of Bannerlord finally upon us, I plan to make a lot more content with the video game. Uh, I've just been having a good time lately, and yeah, I've just been playing it a lot. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions or comments about anything to do with Bannerlord, then don't hesitate to leave it in the comments, and hey, you never know, I just might make a video about it. That's all for now, guys. See you in the next one.